All right, <clears throat> we made it past the heat wave, everybody. Fingers crossed that we don't have a brownout tonight because it's still pretty hot outside. But we're done with our uh, afternoon hunker down session. I asked Chris, do you want to watch some more Fallout? She said, no, my head hurts. So she took an ibuprofen. She's doing her evening chores, and she's done for the night. So I said, well, if you're not going to watch anything, if we're not going to watch anything tonight together, then I am going to go play some more Starfield. So here I am. Um, What were we working on? Oh, we're supposed to... Yeah, I probably need to look up this mission. I remember we were searching out... Just spoke to Vivictus. I need to find the rogue weapon scientist. He believes Orlais is hiding near the planet of Athera and the wolf system. And I should speak to the local head of the vanguard, Captain Marquez, to get specifics. What's up, I am? What's up? You're on a Delta flight on the way to Miami? Awesome. Hey, on, this, on that note, um, so we're multi streaming right now on YouTube and Twitch. I am is is talking over on Twitch. Um, apparently, I now have access to on Twitch, and this is thanks to everybody for contributing to the growth um, in both places. But on Twitch in particular, we started multi-streaming in October, and we're up to like 700 and close to 750 followers now as we approach 30,000 on YouTube. I now have access to the Plus Partner Program. Or plus, it's plus something. I was just reading the details with Chris a few minutes ago. So right now, my um, my split with Twitch is 50-50. So anytime someone does, you know, bits, cheers, subscriptions, or whatever on Twitch, I get 50%. Um, but with the plus program, you can earn 60 and 70%, and it's based on the total number of monthly points you accrue from subscriptions that people... Um, contribute to the channel so because people have been subscribing actively we are working our way towards the first tier which would mean I would earn 60% of the revenue on twitch as opposed to 50% uh, which is really cool there's still a long way to go like I don't have a lot of subscriptions like I think I have 25 subscriptions right now which is not a ton but it's you know it's something I have like you know we're working, I have 25 points towards that, which is really cool. And I think the first tier is 100 points. So thanks to everyone who has been contributing in both places, but also um, really cool to see that the Twitch's growth is growing and that Twitch recognizes the growth, which is great. Um, Assassin, what's up, man? Haven't seen you in a hot minute. If you're the same Assassin from YouTube that I remember from a few months back. Thanks for the subscription, by the way. And then on YouTube, I it, this month we might not get it this month, but we're getting really close to thirty thousand on YouTube. It is you are it is okay. You are it, it, I just saw you chat on YouTube as well, Assassin. Yeah, making sure you have assassins at both ends. What's up? Um. So yeah, it's really cool to see that the growth, that the algorithm, and that the system is recognizing the growth because you know obviously we have a long, you know I've been working on YouTube for a very long time and I've only been working on Twitch for a few months, so it's really cool to see the growth. All right, let's go find the Capitan. Oh, this station's seen better days. Oh wow, she's kind of. I wonder kinda... if the UC will ever fully restore it to its former glory. Not gonna lie, Raina Marquez is hot. I got a thing for brunettes, man. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Actually, I am with the Vanguard, super at ultra, Capitan. Oh, so you are. Sorry about that, Captain. People mistake us for peacekeepers most days. Wasn't expecting someone from the actual military. So, what can I do for you? Being busy is a good thing, man. You've been coming. You've been keeping up with the Fallout coverage of Starfield. Honestly, I would still be doing the Fallout coverage if it weren't for the fact that the Starfield update was so awesome that I couldn't wait on it. I was like, you know what? I gotta go to the. I gotta go out of the office for a few weeks in June. So I wanted to bang out a, uh, what? What's up, Pippin? No, you gotta wait for mommy to come back. I can't get, I just started streaming, honey. I can't help you right now. 
All right, Reginald Orlace. I heard you might know him. Orlace doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him? Yeah, it's it was a very similar situation as Cyberpunk. They've done some really good changes. Um, it's in a very good place now. Gotta hate putting on headsets when my head when my hair is still wet. I took a shower and. I think that's one of the things I'm going to do. Uh, Chris and I just talked about it, depending on you know where we're at with finances. Um, I think I'm going to, we are going to convert the other room into an office, and I think I will set up sound pads on the wall and get an actual boom mic so that I can stop wearing a headset for the mic stuff. Because um, I would like to go hands-free eventually. All right, I don't want to say too much. All right, he's supposedly living near Etheria. A man? Living around Etheria, the gas giant. Only yeah, one it's, ship like that I know of. It's pretty it's awesome. Docks, doesn't respond to hails. The sixty frame they thing. They call it the Warlock. Maybe this Orlace of yours is the one piloting it. I can give you the coordinates to its last sighted location if you want. Just, well, you'll need to be careful. A part of Etheria sky is an old debris field, plenty dangerous. More than a few scrappers heading out never came back. You still in there? Anything else you can tell me about the warlock? I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told each other to keep themselves amused. Pretty surprised to find out he has a name. Like finding out the Grim Reaper's named Mitch or something. <laughs> huh. Makes you wonder though. Ships have been disappearing in those fields for years. Going theory on why was a combination of old ordnance and Etheria's gravity disappearing them. But maybe someone's been helping them over the ledge. Thanks, Hoodat, for the subscription over on Prime. I really appreciate the support, guys. Onwards and upwards, man. All right, I'll take those coordinates. Uh, I'm, by the way, I'm playing on. Uh, this is for you, Assassin, since you haven't played yet. Um, I'm currently playing on the visual mode, which is visual. It's pref it's preferring visuals to performance with the 60 frame mode. And honestly, it's been really good. The only time I've noticed any slight hitching at all has been in new atlantis which is the major city and it's only when there's like kind of like with cyberpunk when there's like 50 plus npcs on the screen and you're running it will occasionally like when you turn a corner and it's loading everything for the first time you'll notice a very slight little uh, but on performance mode there's zero issues sure it's isn't me. flawless it's really good sure thing here this should get you pointed in the right direction Go get your man. All right. So we got to go for a ship EM damage damage to submit random. Possibly stunning enemy engines for boarding. Well, we'll sort that out later. Um, People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. But they think it is. And that makes them dangerous. And some people like to turn the, the motion blur off, but I actually have it on right now. But, like, we're inside right now, and it's just... It's smooth as butter. It's great. Marquez is all right, I guess. She's going to be lucky to have me as a boss. You kind of sound like a douche, Bastion. I am, hands down, the best pilot in this dump. Don't let anyone tell you different. You seem pretty confident. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am. I'm sure you're fantastic. Wow, well, I'm fine. Yeah, here we go. I find those that are truly skilled really need to advertise it. What? I'm not advertising anything. I'm a pilot for the Vanguard. Are you even paying attention? I'd offer to let you fly along on my next mission, but, uh... Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. L listen, I need a favor. I've got an application for a promotion in the Vanguard, but I haven't heard anything back. It's been a while. Their reply must have gotten lost along the way. It happens. We're really far from New Atlantis. Anyway, would you mind going there and following up for me? Yeah, shouldn't you be the one checking on this? Yeah, I mean, probably, but you know how it goes leave here and then something terrible happens and I have all this guilt because I wasn't here to save everyone 
Assassin says, I was watching Fallout show and your reviews. I also want to dabble in Fallout 4 since it's the only one I didn't play. Beginner's Guide was great. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Those Beginner's Guides are a lot of fun to put together. Also, the you know Fallout 4 did that big next-gen console update like a month ago, and they just dropped another update like last week. So they've done two massive updates to the consoles, and they now have 60 frame mode for the consoles, and also you have visual and performance mode on the... Um, um, on the Xbox, which is great. So if you're going to play Fallout 4 for the first time, well, looks, I'm in the middle of a first-time playthrough. I'm like 40 hours in. It looks great. Um, it's aged very, very well. I do have other things to do, you know. Yeah, kind of busy some other time, douche. Right, right. Okay. That's no problem. I get it. I'm super busy here, too. If you get some free time, though, check in with me. I'll probably have gotten an answer, so I'd hate for you to travel all the way out there for no reason. Actually, you know what? Um... Of course not. Otherwise, are you able to help? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll say yes just so I can have just it in my like inventory. That? I'm not going to forget that you're doing this for me. Okay, you're going to want to talk to Commander Tuala. Just bring back whatever message for me so I can get out of here, okay? Really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, who that says I have full visuals and 60 FPS on my Series X. Same here. Haven't had any screen tear issues yet. Neither have I. Um, looks beautiful on the 4K. Um, I haven't tried it on 4K yet. I have a 4K TV back behind, but because I'm always streaming and doing Only content creation, I just have it plugged into my monitor, and my monitor is just a 1980. It's just a um, 1920 by 1080 HD, so I don't have 4K on the monitor. I would love to plug this into the TV and see what it looks like in 4K. That would probably be pretty good. Wild Bill says, is survival mode like permadeath? No, 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 no. Um, but there are lots of options. I'm actually, so here's my list of guides that I'm working on right now. And one of the things I'm getting ready to do is the ultimate beginner's guide to uh, the survival mode. Um, and so I'll have a guide coming out soon. But there's a lot of options you can tweak. We go into the settings right now. Um, you can tweak all of this. All of these options can be tweaked so that you can have the survival mode that you want. So I've left most things on normal. The things I did crank up is like I wanted to have weighted ammo so the ammo weighs a little bit. And then um, I have sustenance so that I have positive and negative effects. So um, like I'll get malnutrition and if I don't eat. Actually, you know what? I want to do Hang on, why didn't it, didn't it just jump me there? Hold up. No! Go back. That's why. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. This is UC Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Please enjoy your visit to Jemison. Go check out this guy's application. It's a side quest, so you might as well check it out. Ah! I missed the jump. Missed the landing!
Oh, malnourished. So speaking of survival mode, if you don't eat and you don't drink, this is what happens to you. <laughs> so feel free to pause and look at the negative effects. They are very detrimental if you don't eat and drink. It's pretty brutal. Um, let's go ahead and just do some spiced worms. And... I know I've got something to drink in here. Sparkling water. Captain, Admiral Logan informed me of your part in halting yep. the attacks. Yep, and it's 30 minutes Hold real time. City owes you. Now, what do you need? Bastion Graf wanted me to talk to you. <laughs> okay, didn't see that one coming. What's up, Pippin? No need to say any more. I know what it's about. He's convinced he deserves a promotion, which to him means a transfer, a command post, maybe a new ship and a big office. Do you know him well? What do you think of him? I do not know him well. He came off as a little arrogant. Not the first time I've heard that. Clearly, patience isn't his strong suit. I thought the constant stream of messages was a bit much. But if he's going to be sending people here. All right. I received some good advice from someone in the Vanguard recently, and I'm going to run with it. I'd like you to deliver this message to Bastion on my behalf. The full authority of Vanguard leadership. He's going to be the first and only recipient of a new commendation. Quite an honor. I hope he appreciates it. Please, give him my regards. Okay. You can just call him Sisdef. Everyone else does. Yeah, I did the, the Sisdef Sis stuff fleet, before. Fighting pirates. It's not a small job keeping the galaxy's mercantile class safe from death and dismemberment, so they're constantly undermanned. They work out of the ship, the UC Vigilance. But the support request was a little vague on what your actual duties would be if you decided you want to lend a hand. Oh, I'm totally going to lend a hand once we're finished up here. Alright, so now we're going to boogie it back. Is it true planet borders are removed? I have no idea you heard that now the map moves based on your location and loads the terrain data as you move to edges is there still a boundary i i haven't ever looked into it to be honest with you who that says yes the map now moves as you cross borders Coming in hot. All right, let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Oh, I, uh, yes, never mind. Sorry, I was about to contradict myself, but I did need to board to talk to the guy first. So he's getting some type of a new I commendation. Am, hands down, the best pilot in this dump. Don't let anyone tell you different. You look like you've got news. It better be good news. Okay, come on, don't keep me in suspense. When do I ship out? Oh, the news is even better than that. What? How could it be better? Oh, come on. Quit messing with me and just tell me already. Congratulations. You're being awarded a special commendation. Wow. Really? Let's see. Uh, unique in the history of the Vanguard. That's good, right? Okay. Okay. Finally, some real recognition. Thanks for doing the legwork here. I'm not gonna forget that you helped me out. So what was the commendation? I didn't guard. actually. I'm gonna make sure you get paid. Was it in the? Time. I wonder if it was in my question or I just didn't pay though, attention. My account's a little light, so this is the best I can do. 
But, but really, I mean it. I'm gonna remember this. So what was the... I may have to read that. The devil you know. Hang on. Re-re-application. Huh. I don't know what it was. Uh, Hudat says, I traveled on Mars. When I wanted to return to my ship, I had to go into the map to fast travel because it wasn't showing an icon in the scanner view. Nice. Assassin says, thanks you devs for honestly making this game better with each patch. Yeah, they've done a really good job. I did that video last week, I think, where I, where I compared it to Cyberpunk 2077, and I said, you know, if you look at the way they've done their hey, updates, you know, you? it's... Some companies do a really good job of Should making their games, the you know, better. Not all companies. As the hero of the kill, you need your own Uh oh, did you hear mommy? Did you hear mommy out there? Is that why you're crying, Pippin? <laughs> if Chris doesn't come in the room soon, I'm gonna have to go uh, check out with Pippin. See what's up. She had food and water, and she went to the bathroom before we came in here, so I don't know why she's crying. Cera, 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 cera por el calor. Estoy llorando mucho, no sé qué quiere. Agua, o tal vez pipí, popó, quién sabe. No, no, está amarrada, está amarrada. Tienes que quitarla. I know. Sí, aquí también estoy sudando. Al calor. Bueno, espérame, espérame. Kevin. It's called heat stroke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see. I'm a uh, heat stroke. I guess whatever, um, it's really hot here. It's, you know, it's like 115 degrees today with, um, and, uh, like 45 degrees Celsius. And I guess one of our, uh, my niece's husband got heat stroke. So he's in the hospital right now. He works out in the, he works out on a, on a, on a farm. Says, is, is it really worth making another character now? One of my things was and New Game Plus changing traits would be a thing now. You can role play using the same. I mean, I, that's kind of up to you. I wanted to do a new one just because, even though I had a New Game Plus character, um, I just wanted to start over from scratch just for fun. So I only have my original file. Makes sense. Hopefully this is the last really hot day of the season. It's supposed to start raining tomorrow and it's gonna drop like ten degrees Celsius, so it's only gonna be it's gonna drop down to like thirty five, so it's up you know, upper nineties, but still. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, May is really hot here. Warlock. Endless boy. Who is this you've brought me? More scrap for the field. Save your last moments, moat. All systems. 
Oh, we're going into combat. So I need to target the engines. We're gonna come up over the edge of this. There he is. All right, target lock. Engines. I wasn't paying attention to my health. I wasn't paying attention to my health. I'll have to redo that. My bad. Let's put some more points in my shields. I might, yeah. I wasn't paying attention to any of that because I'm paying attention to text messages and stuff. Obviously, I didn't get all the weapon systems out quick enough, or he's repairing. I may have to re-equip my ship because um, I don't have a ton of EM stuff, and he's got some pretty gnarly shields. First time I've had any issues going up against a ship. 